The court has noted Ms. Delgado's plea, but I would like to hear from her client. Mr. Joplin, do you plead not guilty by reason of insanity? Go for it, Skye. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm early for another hearing. I didn't mean to interrupt. Wait, Gigi? I can't do this without you. <sighs> Should have called the union. They could have hooked me up with a pro bono attorney. Oh, boy, he's just a little preoccupied right now. You'll get used to it. Will you stop assuming that we're going to get custody? Of course, you're going to get custody, Oliver. How? I have no money for an attorney, no way to persuade a family court judge that I should keep her. <laughs> well, you are her father, and you're a police officer, and I think you're forgetting that your boyfriend's a saint. Yeah, well, they're not going to really care about that. She has an aunt who wants her, who's a mother, and has a kid and knows what she's doing. If I were the judge, I'd give her to Gigi. With all due respect, Your Honor, I came in by mistake. I don't think I should be here. No, Gigi, you really need to hear this. Because if it weren't for you, I, I couldn't do it. Mr. Joplin, your plea. Yeah, uh, sorry. I'm guilty, as charged. Judge, you can't listen to him. He's non compass mental. Judge Thompson, if I might have a moment to confer with my client. Her please. client made his wishes very clear, Your Honor. Yeah, but he doesn't know what he's saying. Yes, I do, Your Honor. I, I do. I, uh, I think my lawyer truly believes that I'm crazy or or that I was that I that I would have to be to do the things that I've done and uh, you know she's half right I've done some pretty unforgivable things I, I denied my own daughter I put her life on the line just because I was trying to impress somebody to make her love me and uh yeah, I, I, uh, I lost myself a little bit. I, I uh, lost my perspective. I lost my judgment. I lost everything that I worked for since I put the drugs down. But I knew what I was doing, Your Honor. I just thought that it would be worth the risk. And uh, yeah, I, I was wrong. I deserve to be punished. Why don't you tell her what you just told me? Oh, go ahead. Tell her, tell her, tell her. Tell her that we can't possibly win custody. You know, that, that it's no use, that we might as well just give up and go home because we're, we're not possibly going to win custody. I can't do that. No. No, you can't. I get that you're scared. Okay, who, who's not scared? This little girl eats five times a day and I can't even boil an egg. <laughs> I live in a hotel, Oliver. There's no kitchen. I was up all night last night just trying to figure out where to get her breakfast. Breakfast? We can pick her up some more formula at the grocery store. See? You're a natural at this. You're good at it. You feed her and I'll dress her. Okay, we just have to figure out how we're gonna get her home. Mr. Joplin, I need to make sure you understand the consequences of a guilty plea. There will be no trial. Once you admit guilt, you will be sentenced. And the charges you face carry significant prison time. Yeah, I realize that, Your Honor. Very well, then. I'll accept your plea of guilty as charged. You will be remanded until such time as sentencing can be rendered. Your Honor. Given Mr. Joplin's extraordinary degree of cooperation, I am requesting that he be allowed to remain at liberty until sentencing, so that he be allowed to finalize his affairs. Yes, here. It's, it's okay. <laughs> uh, there's nothing I, I can't do from prison, so, you know, send me to Statesville. I don't think you know what you're doing. Judge, do you think that we can have more time? I would like to get to know my son a little bit better before I gotta say goodbye. Roxy, I can't. 
I, I can't go home knowing Bo Buchanan's in the hospital because of me. Can I go see my... I have to stay here. Renounce your claim to Sierra. See you in Statesville. Thank you. For everything. Hey, you, take it easy. He's just doing his job. We'll do it nicer. Hey, Greenlee. Will you give them a moment alone? not too late. You tell the judge you made a mistake. You want to change your plea. Well, it wasn't a mistake. It's the first thing I've gotten right in a long time. What happened? Skyler pled guilty. They're sending him to Statesville. I'm sorry for everything, but most of all, for making you worry for Sierra, okay? No matter what happens, I know you're going to be a great mother to her. You are. I know it. I'll be speaking on Skylar's behalf at the custody hearing. He's pressing the case? No. He's officially renouncing any claim to Sierra Rose. Okay. Not only have is Oliver Fish to worry about. Um, can I have a moment? I want to say goodbye to my daughter. Hey. How's Rex? Well, he's quite worried about Bo. How are you doing? Well, it's a good thing I got support hose on. It's the only thing holding me up. How are you gonna babysit? What do you mean? Little girl over there's counting on you. Sierra's gonna need a, a grandma, Roxy. <laughs> You're it. Hey, baby girl. I know that being born is hard enough as it is, and I didn't mean to make it harder on you, but guess what? Your daddy's gonna take such good care of you. And I'm gonna do everything I can to make it up to you, okay? I just hope one day you forgive me. Hey guys, the, uh, the, the, the hearing's about to start. Good luck, Skylar. <laughs> as far as they let me. Good job. Hey, hey, just know something. I never stood a chance with her. I said let's go. Session, the Honorable Judge Henson presiding. You may be seated. I understand the parties are all present. Yes, they are, Your Honor. Ready to proceed, Your Honor. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to establish custody of the minor child, Sierra Rose Marasco.